Hey guys, this is Emily with Silver Lining Serpents and Supplies. I promised an unboxing video, and to be quite honest, this is a mock-up unboxing. I got them Thursday morning. I got three snakes Thursday morning, and I work overnights. So I had woken up from a nap and got these guys situated, and I just wanted to go back to bed. I couldn't do... A full unboxing video. I don't have a good setup. I've never really made videos before and to be honest I was just tired and didn't feel like dealing with it. So now we're going to do the mock unboxing. I've like I said I've already taken these guys out. This is not how they came. I just put them back in their original containers and their original boxes for the purpose of this video. They're healthy. They're good. They look great. They've been doing really well. It's only been a few days, but still, they're doing pretty well. So, these guys are, I don't know if you can actually see the uh, writing down there, but these guys are rosy boas. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole taxonomy on them, because honestly, it's really confusing to me. I'm just getting into rosy boas. I don't really understand the different taxonomy issues. Some people are in one camp as far as if there's three different species with them or, or subspecies, I should say, fam, whatever. I don't know. Again, taxonomy is not my thing yet. I'm still learning. Or if there's three or four. People don't know. I don't really know what camp I'm in yet, but I just wanted to get the snakes because they're really cool snakes. They're supposed to be really great beginner snakes. And honestly, even though one of the sellers I got them from said that they're very food motivated, so they're, they may or may not bite. They've been very calm, very chill. They're great snakes. They just really like food. They're boas. They like their food. As soon as they're not, they, they understand they're not eating, they're fine. They're really cool snakes to watch. And I've been watching one of them, at least, because I can see him from my bed pretty much. And they're very active. They like to look around and see different things. So they're really neat. So I guess let's start opening one of the boxes. We're going to open the smaller box first. And again, I apologize. This is on my phone. So I, I'm sorry if it's kind of shaky. I'm not the best at this. And this is my first video. So we're going to start with this first box. So I'm going to set this big box down. I'm sorry. It's going <laughs> to... Set the big box on the ground, and we're going to open this. So this guy, see if I can do this one-handed. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, ta-da, it's open. I had to pause it for a second because it was not working with one hand. All right, so if I can remember how this opens, here we go. This guy, this beautiful, beautiful snake, there's a shadow, sorry is a Limburg Albino Coastal Rosy Boa. Try saying that five times fast. I know I can't. He is a male, and he is beautiful. This is the guy that I've been watching, cruising around and exploring his quarantine tank, or setup, or whatever. He is an awesome, awesome snake. He's so cool looking. Sorry. So yes, this guy is a male albino, Limburg albino coastal. Limburg is just the guy who found them in the wild. And this, it, the coastal rosy boas kind of run in the southern part of California, kind of down into the Californian Baja area. And he is four years old. He is a proven breeder. Let's take him out quick. Ugh. Proven breeder. He's just super cool. Super chill. Let's see if I can rearrange this. He's going to want to go everywhere. Doing this with one hand is not easy. He's just really chill. See, I can just pick him right up. He's just wanting to explore. They're not super fast snakes. I, well, generally they're not super fast snakes. I say that because the one we're going to get into is young yet. So he's, he's a little quicker. But yeah, they're pretty, 
they're really mellow. I've had him for a couple of days, and you're not supposed to really mess with them too much when they're brand new, but eh, they're pretty cool with it. They haven't really been stressed out at all. He's a little chilly because he he moved around the uh, probe part of his mat heat mat for the thermostat, but otherwise he's a really cool snake. See if I can't zoom out a little bit. <laughs> nope, I can't do this one-handed. Oh, this video is great. Oh, that's why I just... Okay, there we go. You can see more of my messy house. Yeah, trying to do this one-handed is not easy. Oh my god, I'm going to have to cut out so much of this. <laughs> okay, here we go. Lovely. So yes, this is Clyde. I am usually not really good with names. He's not making this easy. <laughs> he just wants to explore. I might have to put him back just because filming him one-handed while I'm trying to hang on to the phone is not easy. <sighs> now he came from, oh boy, now this is really going to be fun. Okay, hang on. Okay, that's better. I couldn't keep hanging on to him one-handed. <laughs> I was getting all jumbled around. He came from EA Scales in Elk Grove, California. It took me about a month to get him because if any of you are in California, you know it's hot. So we weren't comfortable shipping him out until it was warmer or cooler, I guess. And I finally got him. It actually worked out so that the other two snakes that I got came the same day as he did. So it was really nice. <laughs> but yeah, this is Clyde. My four-year-old proven breeder, Limburg Albino Coastal Rosy Boa. Whew. So now we're going to pause and go to the next box. Okay, so this next package I got from... A um, guy named Andrew Garambe, Garambe, I, I'm sorry, I'm not good with names, but he is based out of the Houston area in Texas, and he actually used to breed rosy boas quite a bit, but he's kind of gotten out of it. He wants to get back into it, but he just doesn't have pairs for these guys, so he was willing to let them go. I actually posted on one of the Facebook groups looking for an adult rosy boa, and his friend, who I, I'm sorry, I can't think of the name at the moment, but his friend actually pointed me in the direction of him. So it actually worked out. And while I was in the process of getting the female snake that I'll show you in a minute, he asked me if I wanted the first, the a baby, a smaller one of a different locale. So we're probably going to unbox him first. They're in the same box. But you're going to see him first. Oh, the Lindbergh albino male Clyde that I got off. I got him off Mark Market from EA Rep. EA Scales. I keep wanting to say EA Sports. <laughs> okay. So right off the bat, the female is in the bag. Well, the pillowcase. And we have this little guy right here. This little guy... I think I'm going to name him Antonio. Now, again, I'm not very good with names, but eh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now, Antonio, I'm going to scooch this. That didn't work very well. I'm going to scooch this this way. That works. Now, this little guy is a ghost morph of the San Felipe locale. And that's the thing with rosy boas mainly is locales. Some people are really divided on morphs for rosy boas. Honestly, it was kind of an accident that I got all morphs. It wasn't my intention. It just kind of worked out that way. So anyways... Now, this guy's a little squirmier. He's only a couple years old. He was born in 2020. 
And yes, I did say born, because for those of you who don't know, boas give live birth. He could be breeding age, possibly. Eh, I'm not breeding him, obviously. I don't have a female for him, and on, I'd rather him grow up a little more. The coastal rosy boas, so um, Clyde and his girlfriend that I'm going to show you in just a minute, they are the larger, for, larger locales of rosy boas. Females get up to four feet, so it's kind of like a ball python, but honestly, they don't always get up to four feet. You'll see in a minute, I have a four-year-old. This guy is only two years old, and he's super cute. Look at the face. They have such cute little faces. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. <laughs> but he's got some really cool light patterning. So, like I said, he's San Felipe locale, but he is a ghost morph. So, I don't know. I'm probably going to get him just a normal San Felipe locale female and breed them together at some point. Where'd you go? There you are. But he's not old enough. I will be on the lookout for a female for him, but he's just super cute. And like I said, oh, he is a tiny bit flighty, but that's just because he's smaller. He's younger, but he's, I don't want to say he's technically an adult. I'd say sub-adult. I think he's more sub-adult. This is, <laughs> again, not easy to do. I don't know how these people record snakes like this. This is not easy. So yeah, again, this is, I, there's my cat, Joe. It's going to go hide in the cubby. He, uh, San Felipe locale, he's a Mexican locale. So from what I've gathered, there are coastals, Mexicans, desert, and some people may or may not include Arizona locales, just in general. The desert usually makes up the Arizona locales. Not making this easy, bud. <sighs> got like a really nice cream belly really pretty it's got some speckling on him those are not mites I promise I've checked them over they do not have any mites they're good look at you the little face oh my gosh he's so cute so cute they have got like this little puppy dog face I've noticed that a lot of people who like rosy boas are also really into sand boas and I was thinking about doing sand boas. I actually had some at one point, but they're just, they're wonderful snakes, super easy. They just like to hide a lot. And I find these guys are, they, they do hide a good amount, but rosy boas I find are more outgoing, more curious. He's like inching across my wrist. <laughs> Look at that cool pattern on his side. I don't know if it's considered a pattern, but it's cool speckling. He's really pretty. I really like him. So yeah, this is possibly Antonio. I don't know. We'll see if I keep that name or not. Like I said, I'm not good with names. So if any of you can think of some other names for him, go ahead and let me know. So we're going to pause and go to the next snake. Okay, so I've already untied the bag because I didn't think I could do it one-handed. But in this bag... It's not going to be easy to see if I try to put you guys down the thing. The bag is also very big. She's not as big as the bag. I'm trying to find her. I'll just pull her out because I don't, it's not working. All right. Now she has not struck at me at all. I was told she gets very food motivated, but I have not seen her try to bite yet. She's probably just more confused on what's going on. There we go! Oh, she's not going to make this easy either. This beautiful, beautiful girl. If I can try to get her one way. Here we go. This beautiful girl I'm calling Bonnie. Can we focus, please? Focus. 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 Kind of. There we go. This is Bonnie. She is an anatheristic coastal rosy boa. Who is possibly het albino. Now with her, don't bite me. Okay. Now with her, 
if I breed her to, well, when I breed her to Clyde, <laughs> honey, she could possibly have the albino gene. Heck, obviously. If she does, they have the possibility to produce snows, which is an all-white snake. Now, these guys only have, sm these guys have small litters. She has not been bred yet. This camera is not wanting to focus. Joe is wanting to be a star, apparently. She is very active. So again, they are very active snakes, but they're not fast. She's just checking things out and making my life a little difficult. So we're going to see what she does down here and just kind of, maybe not. But yeah. These guys have small litters. I think the max they can usually have is 10. Likely, since she's never bred before, I'd be happy if she just had one healthy baby. But realistically, maybe three. Now, one really nice thing with her is, I don't know if the camera's going to really pick this up. She is a really nice dark gray, but her belly is this beautiful blue color. She's such a pretty snake. I absolutely adore her, even though I can't wrangle her. She just wants to go exploring. <laughs> so yes, this is Bonnie, so Bonnie and Clyde. Hopefully they don't have those same rebellious attitudes that those two did. But she's just a really pretty snake, and I'm so excited to have her. So, with her and Clyde, I am going to roommate them later on, but that can be a video for another day. Again, that really pretty blue belly. She is so active right now. I'm pretty sure she's hungry. I'm going to try feeding them today, even though you usually want to wait a week. Careful! I'm so paranoid she's going to bite me. So, yeah. Those are the three snakes that I got. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put her back because I don't have a good bin for her. She's just in this... She's just in this bag that she could easily get out of, honestly, unless I tie it off. But I don't want to tie it off because I'm going to be putting them back. Okay. So, yeah. Those are my three rosy boas that I got in the mail. Again, sorry this video has been all messed up. I'm going to try feeding them in a little bit, and I'll probably put this in the video as well. But yeah. I'm hoping to get more. I am not locale specific. I'm pretty open to like any locale for these rosy bows because they're just such amazing snakes. And that's what I want to do is kind of advocate for them because they're not really that common. I don't really know anybody in the Midwest that sells them or breeds them. So I'm pretty excited. Yeah, she came, so yeah, they came from California and Texas where you see more people who breed them. So I'm not going to be making regular videos either. I'm just going to be doing highlight videos. Hopefully I'll get better at it as I go, but no promises. Honestly, this is not going to be like a professional YouTube channel at all. I figured I'd bring them all up here just to see them all again. But yeah, I'm not going to be doing this regularly. I'm not. I'm just, I just want to get more Rosie Boa content on YouTube because if you search Rosie Boas, I mean, you get some really good informational videos, but you don't really get a whole lot else. So I want to do unboxing videos. I want to do um, breeding videos. I want to do just some informational videos because these guys are really cool and I really want them to blow up. I think they're great beginner snakes and I'm going to prove it with these videos. So yeah, I will show some B-roll of them eating and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.